body. You'll have tea, coffee. <laughs> Picky cheese. Oh, that looks nice. It's dokra, but made small. It's dokri. Dokri. I'm starting my journey close to home by visiting my mum and my aunties in West London. They were young girls in 1947 and rarely talk about how they survived partition. As Sikhs, they found themselves living in the new state of Pakistan, which was created as a homeland for India's Muslims. They were forced to flee to India when partition was announced. What do you remember in 1947? What happened? One day, Sikh military comes with green lorry, mm -hmm. and they says, come on, everybody have to move from here. If you stay here, they will kill you. They put us in the lorry and take to the station. So there was your mother, yeah. there was you two, and another little sister, Sleasty. baby sister. Uh, we stay in the train th three night. Mm. No food, nothing. My sister was a very bad. She's she, very bad. My sister died over there. Mm. My family had lived in Jhelum and Ralpindi for generations. When India was divided in two, they ended up on the wrong side of the border and were no longer welcome. That's why, along with millions of others, they were forced to flee. I always thought that before these troubles and before partition, everybody used to get on. Mm. What was it like before partition with Hindus and Muslims and Sikhs? They were friends, but just like brothers and sisters and everything. So they how did that together. feel, living there when you were very, all together? Very nice, very just... Never thought that something will happen like this. We never thought. And from their side, up to now, I haven't been in Rawalpindi. <coughs> And I miss that place very badly. Oh, very sad. It's very sad. The partition thing was very sad. It is written in the history that the um, people write the, with the golden and silver words, but this history is written with the blood. It's clear that the events of 1947 in India have affected my family till today. And I think it's fair to say that all of us who have been affected by partition still live under that shadow. I'd like to find out what happened to the world that my mum talked about, where everybody lived side by side as brother and sister. I'd like to find out where the seeds of partition started. <laughs>